Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Guns and Rolls Fitness. Um, we just wanted to give you a little gym tour. People have asked where we work out and stuff like that. So just kind of show you all the equipment we've acquired over the years. And uh, Bethany's got a model, and I'm just going to speak about everything. So uh, here we go. <laughs> All right, so we come in, uh, we got our entertainment center, so, you know, that's something important, right, Beth? And we like to, to jam out on the music. Um, so when, when we, we've gone through different phases of lifting over the years, um, but we did CrossFit for, uh, for a period. Um, so we do have the pull-up bar, we have the rings, um, we got the bands, you know, I guess got a model here. If you're uh, like me and you yeah. need to modify it, then we can use these great resistance bands. Yep. Rep some out. Nice. All right, and and so she's standing on a box here. So this is a custom made box that I made. Um, you know, for box jumps, it actually has three different heights uh, built into it, um, and then I painted it with a uh, kind of like a a cheap Walmart truck liner bed spray. Um, so it gave it a little bit of a rubber coating to it, so it's just not as slippery and. If you miss the edge, sometimes you catch a shin on it. Um, and so that kind of softens that blow for you. Um, got the ab mat back there. Can you show that? I do like a lot. It takes your legs out of the equation. It kind of just focuses right on the core. Um, and so, yeah, so so we have that. It took the, you know, that's what we're using for our abs. Um, so this is a preacher curl attachment here. Uh, we'll show you the bench and how that works in a little bit. Now into our dumbbell rack. Um, so I have had these uh, adjustable dumbbells here where you can kind of put on Olympic weights on and off. Uh, it's nice because you can go up a lot of weight with it, um, but it's just annoying because you got to throw weights on, weights off every time you work out. So eventually I just started buying dumbbells in each, each size that I was using frequently. And then uh, what happened is then I wanted to fill in the gaps and, and keep going up and having options to go up. So, so yeah, so essentially we got from 5 pounds up to 65 currently. Um, um, we do have the medicine ball as well. Yeah. Slant, well, this is more of a slam ball. Um, again, um, we do have a uh, leg attachment for our bench as well. Again, you know, so uh, this, uh, this bench that we have, which I'll show you right here, is a uh, it's from Force USA. We got the cage and everything for Force USA. Um, but yeah, we like this bench because it again it allows you to do a lot of things. It's better than most home gym benches. I would put it close to a commercial bench. Um, not as expensive as you know a commercial bench, but it does hold a lot of weight. So again, you can do your leg curls, your leg extensions. You could do your preacher curls. You can do, uh, so this bench, Bethany, if you want to show how the, the, the seat moves up and down. So it's actually got three different degrees you can go to that way. Um, and then this part, it can go all the way down to decline. Or you can go all the way up to military. So. Um, has a lot of different options to get a lot of different workouts in. It does have a nice handle down here, um, and there's wheels on the back of it. So you can uh, just lift it up, if you want to show that, Bethany, and move it out of the way. And it makes it nice and light. The wheels roll, and you can just move it right out of the way. Okay. okay, so this corner here, we got a physio ball. So physio balls are nice. Uh, you know, when you're kind of working something where you're trying to work your core a little bit more, Um, so we like to have that, and we have the tire. Um, again, you know, when we're switching up workouts here and there, but the tire's nice. Uh, I have a sledgehammer where you come in and you hit the tire with a sledgehammer. It's a great workout. Um, so we like to incorporate that if we can. Um, nice heavy bag, so a little bit into MMA now and then. So, um, you know, we, we have the heavy bag. I have the speed bag, so just kind of something good for warming up. Uh, you know, just just getting a good little cardio in sometimes where it's a little bit fun to do or if you're just angry and you want to punch a bag it's a good place to come do it 
we like to use these whiteboards to put our workout plans on to keep track of where we're at, where we're going. Um, so we have that there, just dry erase whiteboard. Um, okay, so here's our barbell. So we got two different barbells here. Um, again, you know, so we do it, and we got the hex bar. Um, we got that. So sometimes we've done partner wads, we've done workouts. You know, where two people are in here working out, and again, just if you're not trying to change weights, and if you have room to have two people work out without swapping the weights, if, if you're on different levels, then then it's nice to have that. Um, we got the neck roll. We don't use the neck roll on squats. Uh, not a big fan of that, but we do use it. Bethany uses it when she's doing her glute uh, thruster Thrusters. exercise so she can have the bar Those against her hips. Um, and, yeah, and then the hex bar, same thing. So we have that. Uh, both have bad backs, um, but we like to deadlift. So this is a way to deadlift and kind of save your back a little bit. Uh, it does not hit all the exact same muscles as a normal deadlift. There is a little bit more on your legs when you do it. Um, but, again, it's, it's a great exercise, great workout. And, you know, if you have injuries, you just got to program around them as much as you can to still keep moving forward. So, yes, yeah, so we got that there. And then up here we got all our different gloves, wraps. Um, Bethany has some of these if you want to show them the yeah. – the ankle straps and things like that again for for her kickbacks, kickbacks like glute glute type workouts. Um, they yeah, don't so, match, but yeah, so these good guys enough. go. And so, with that, and this one's a single one. What we would do is so this machine here, you can see it's got the cables. And I'll go into this machine in a minute here. But then yeah, you could just yeah, just do kickbacks like that. So. As you can see, so this this machine again, this is from Force USA. This is the Monster G9 commercial. Um, it pretty much has everything that you need. It's got more than you need, really. I don't think I could ever do everything that it's designed to do, or would want to. Um, but yeah, we love it. Um, it was expensive. We got it during COVID, um, but it's. When you add it up, it's probably cheaper than a year's membership at a gym. Um, so, uh, so you can see it's got a, a pull-up bar up here. It's got multiple grips you can use on this pull-up bar. Um, this does have a squat rack on the front here. Um, so you have these uh, J-hooks down here. Um, if you want to show Bethany, and actually you can see as she's moving that out of the way. <laughs> The, the cable crossovers that we have. So these are adjustable. They go all the way up, all the way down. Um, and they're all connected to this middle weight tree here. So they did have options where you can get the ones with plates, uh, built-in weight plates, or you can do it where you throw in your own weights. Kind of like that. You know, it's a little bit lighter, a little bit cheaper. I already had enough weight um, to utilize. But, yeah. Yeah, so if you want to just put these on just to kind of show how those go in. So what's nice is you can do multiple different things with this. So you can do a free standing, you know, free weight type barbell workout on here. You can do with these cables. This actually came with a bar. If you want to show them that bar on the wall there. She just passed Wait, it. This, one? Wait, which one? Sorry. <laughs> this here. Oh, this one. So that's actually designed where it's got hooks on the end, so you could hook. So if you don't have a barbell, you could still do that and have the bench here and do every type of lift you would normally do, um, but using the cables, and which is kind of nice because sometimes when lifting, it's it's good to have that that negative aspect, you know, the uh, the um, concentric move uh, when the muscle is shortening. Um, and so this allows that extra pressure with the cable or dumb you know, weights. You just drop it. This You can't drop it. You have to control a little bit more. Um, so also, Beth is going to show you here, this does have dip bar connections on it as well that go right in. And then if you're like me, you'll need a band. <laughs> yeah. 
Yep, so you can do your dips there. It's got two different grips, so you can do a close grip or a wide grip, or just depending on how wide your shoulders are, which one is more comfortable for you. Okay, and then we do have, this also has a built-in Smith bar, a Smith machine. So this Smith machine, you can see there's almost no weight. It's counterbalanced, um, which is nice, and it just kind of hooks in, so it's a nice safety feature. Again, us with bad backs, it's nice to have squat rack. You can do squats by yourself, safely, comfortably, and not worry about getting hurt. So, so that's a nice feature there. It does have the built-in weight trees, you can see. Um, so, you know, we got 45, 35, 25s. So this was designed, you can see this uh, thing back here. So this has all the different movements and stuff that you would do on this machine. This, this equipment was designed where you would actually attach that here in between these two bars. I didn't like that. We like to look in the mirror when we're working out, look at our progress, look what we're seeing, you know, look at what we're doing. So what I did is I just kind of hand, added these handles for those holes to kind of hang my collars on. Um, I took some old other weight tree equipment I had, put it on the back to hang. And we got like speed ropes. We got our bands we hang from here, a couple different things like that, different attachments that we hang. Um, so there is a foot plate here as well. So you could do your rows here. Does have the landmine as well. So landmines are popular. You put you know the end of your barbell in there. You put weights on the other end, and you can do a lot of different workouts with landmines. Um, so it's nice to have that built in. What else we got here? So again, just kind of panning over here. So again, another weight tree here. Uh, we do have some bumper plates, some 45s, some tens. Um, I really just have 45s and tens. Honestly, I just felt. That's all you really needed. You know, if you're doing 25 pounds, 35 pounds, anything like that, we would use the 10s and then just regular weights. Uh, again, I, I only think the weights that are touching the ground need to be bumper plates typically. Um, and so that's why we have it set up that way. And again, we just have our different attachments here. So you got your lap pull down, your cable, uh, your rope pulls, a shorter bar there for, for curls and things like that. Um, again, we have all these different attachments. One we love is the leg press. You want to show how the leg press? Oh, you can show that one too. What? These? Yeah, you can show that one as well. So again, we can do cable crossovers with these. But yeah, but what's nice is it does have these different, so you can actually, you know, get a smaller attachment if you wanted or a longer. Gives you those different options with that. Um, so going back, yeah, to the leg press, this was the selling feature for us. That I think that was why I was going to the Y, is I wanted to do leg press. That seemed like a hard thing to do at home. And when I saw this model, I was like, this is actually, and I'll, sh I'll show some footage of Bethany actually doing leg press, but just to see how it connects. So it just connects right on the Smith machine, so you just lie on the ground, and it's a vertical leg press. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, and Bethany's whiteboard to keep up on her workout plan. You know, we got mirrors, we got clocks, we got everything else we need in here. Weight belts. Weight belts back here. We got the ab wheel. Um, yeah. yeah. Anything else you want to say, Bethany? We hope you guys like and subscribe to our yes. channel. We can do more content like this. Um, yeah, hope you've had a good time touring. Thanks, guys. We'll Bye. see you next time.